Welcome to the VMware Integrated OpenStack feature demonstration. In this video, we will demonstrate a Network Function Virtualization, or NFV, feature, which shows how admins can define placement policies for a group of VNFs, VMs, to be placed on a specific group of hosts using DRS. We start at the vSphere web client. Ensure that we are logged in as an administrator. Click on VMware Integrated OpenStack plugin. Next, under Summary tab, we ensure whether it is running on version 2.0 or above. The OpenStack management server on this vCenter server is of version 2.0. We move on to hosts and clusters. Here, we have three clusters, named Compute Cluster, Edge Cluster, and Management Cluster. Click on Compute Cluster. Under the Manage tab, click on vSphere DRS section. This is to check whether DRS is turned on and automation is fully automated or partially automated. For latency-sensitive workloads, partially automated mode is recommended. For this demo, we select partially automated and click OK. Let us now configure VMs to hosts placement policies. Click on VM host groups, which is also DRS groups in vSphere 5.5. Click add button, specify name of the group as gold, and keep the type as VM group. Note down this group name for future reference. We then add member to this VM group by clicking Add button. DRS groups require a minimum of one element. For this purpose, we will select a dummy VM that has been created already and click OK. Next, we shall add host group, provide any name for host group, and click OK. Let us repeat these steps for a silver group VM and hosts. Next, we move to the VM host rules section. Click add button and provide any name for this rule. For example, gold rule. Select virtual machines to hosts from the drop-down menu of type. Configure such that Gold VM Group must run on hosts in Group under Gold Hosts, and click OK. We will repeat the previous steps for Silver Rule as well. Let us switch to the OpenStack Horizon dashboard and log in as an administrator. We then move to the Admin section and click on Images. Select an image whose instances must be grouped as gold. Let us click on the drop-down menu under Edit Image and click Update Metadata. As you can see, there are many available metadata options listed. We choose a metadata named DRS VM Group under VMware Driver Options. Clicking this plus sign next to this option will move the items with their available properties from left to right. We can provide the value for this property as gold which is the same as the DRS VM's group name created on vCenter cluster. Click Save. Let us repeat the step above with the other image and update its DRS VM group property as silver and click Save. Metadata has been successfully updated. Next, we will sign out of the admin account and log in as a tenant user. Under the project section, Click on Images and move to Public Images. This is where images shared by admin can be seen. We then launch an instance using one of the images. In this page, we will specify the details for launching an instance. We will start with naming it as Gold Demo VM and select the instance count to be more than one to validate the placement behavior. Click on the Launch button. While the instances are being launched, let us switch back to the Images section and launch Silver instances from the other image. Notice that all the four Gold and Silver instances are launched successfully and the status is active. We will switch back to the vSphere client and refresh the page. Click on Gold and Silver rule from the list and check the new instances of both added successfully. We navigate to the VM and Templates view 
and notice the new instances added under the project folder corresponding to the service tenant ID. The Silver VMs are placed only under the Silver Hosts group. Similarly, the Gold VMs are placed only on the host corresponding to the Gold Host group. This concludes the VMware Integrated OpenStack feature demonstration. Thank you.